it's very important with each of the bosses that you don't start sassing them aggressively. Real important. Because sometimes... My father's going to kill you when he hears about how he treated me. Yeah, okay. Okay, Angela. I think you're full of crap. I think you're a liar. I think I think your father's just as annoyed with you as I am. Maybe even more so since he lives with you. I wonder if I need to rest. <laughs> Might be a good idea to rest while we're here. There's no there's no doctor here, is there? I just thought about that. Like maybe people just use drugs to heal their ills. Yeah, I don't I don't think there's a doctor at all. Let's rest. Nope, that's character window. Rest. With the pit boy. Alarm clock. Rested and saved. Now we can head off. Back down to the NCR. This is the only, the only, like, family jobs that you'll be, like, traveling this far. To do deeds. To do the dirty deeds. Um, after this point it'll be straight, like, New Reno and its little surrounding locations. So... Apologize. I apologize greatly for the tediousness of working for Family Bishop, but as the guide goes for like what I've, I mean, I'm thinking about making one, honestly, um, but there was an online guide for becoming made man with all the new Reno families and uh, Bishop is the most finicky for like, if you start working for other families and haven't finished working for him yet, he will just outright try to kill you if you go back and talk to him at any point in time. Um, so Bishop absolutely need to finish work with first and uh, work with him uh, or get get made man by him first as well. Once they're all at that point to where they can give you made man status. I'll definitely go over it more so, you know. Once, once we get to that point to where we are completing the final missions of each of the families. These dogs... I've punched so many dogs. Don't forget to spay and neuter your pets! Don't want any unwanted puppies in the wasteland. This is a PSA brought to you by... Cario... G ger germinate. <laughs> Marcus, overkill! You still have one dog left. And final punch. Dead. We didn't need to use that many resources for those dogs. We have a cave here, though. We'll see what we have before we go down the dusty trail. It's not an entrance to anything, so we're not missing out on anything. Cars running out of fuel, though. Gonna need to gas up. I'll actually do that right now. And tell my companions once again to put their weapons away. I wonder if... Oh! <gasps> oh, we could go on a caravan run. Should we interrupt this job to go on a caravan run? Because the, the caravan driver is right there. I'm real tempted. I think we will. I cannot get there. Sulik, get out of the way. <laughs> give me, give me one microfusion cell. Here we go. Fill up, fill up the car. Boom. And then we access the, whoops, access the trunk again. Sulik, you are so good at being in the way, my friend. And then we'll just move all these things over. What happened to the other jackhammer? There's another jackhammer in here somewhere, yeah. That one was loaded, that's why. Okay. Yeah, let's go on a caravan run. Let's do it. Why not? Let's interrupt our regularly scheduled programming. He says, I'm Stanwell. I run the caravan between Reading and the New California Republic. Brahmin for gold. We could use an extra guard. Afraid to leave right now. You need a guard, huh? He says, you came along at a good time. We're ready to go right now. The job pays 2000 but I'm only paying you for the job since I only need one more guard. Ready to join us? Sounds great. Let's go. Yeah, head him out. Let's go. Uh, so that's a unit. What is this? Well-armed travelers. 
diehard soldier from the Master's Army. Uh, <laughs> um, what is this? I'm going to move over here. As long as Stanwell stays alive, we'll be fine. But I'm going to move over here to see what happens. Someone's... What even is going on here? Is this a ranger? Ranger was hit for no damage. Holy crap. That's so upsetting. Oh! I can use the serum! Please tell me I... Please tell me I brought the serum with me. I can use the serum on one of the mutants. And they're distracted. They're distracted by everyone. But I think the NCR... Nope, Sulik is going after them too. Crap, man. Okay, so it is rangers fighting remnants of the Master's Army. Is the NCR patrol going to fight too? Or are we just watching the rangers do their thing? Man. There's a Nightkin too. It's always weird to me. Nice, Stanwell's got a needler pistol. I always like the, the sound of the needler pistols. In this game. Yeah. Our, our, our patrol is, is doing damage, too. Collapses like a tree. Nightkin was killed. I literally don't have... Can I, can I check? Okay, I have the mutagenic serum. I really want to use it! <laughs> Stay alive for one more turn, and then I can liquefy you. It's gonna be great. I don't kill my companions. Wow, Marcus. <laughs> Makes me think he has some pent-up anger against the Master... No, he just died. Gosh dang it. Pent-up anger against the Master's army. So Rangers, as well as... Super Mutants. I got, I got experience for that even though I didn't take a single swing. Oh, nice. Laser rifle. It's the first laser rifle we've come across. Let's get a look at this thing. Because some of you may not may not be familiar with this uh, original design. Minigun? Leaving that on the floor. It's it's valued to weight. I believe is is not great. I wanna say. I could be wrong there. I could be thinking like later Fallout games. Anyway, the laser rifle, 25 to 50 damage. Range of 45. The Watts 2000 laser rifle uses microfusion cells for more powerful lasers and an extended barrel for additional range. You know who we can take this gun to? Our good pal, Algernon, to have it upgraded. I kind of want to give it to Marcus. Like right now. Just, you know, because <laughs> it's smart. <laughs> oh, that's why I gave him, that's why I gave him energy cells. That's why I did that. So he could just What do you want? Switch to that weapon. Yeah, not a problem. Put your weapon away, trade me. I don't know why I did it this way. Give me the Bozar, please. It's really nice that Marcus can carry so much. And now Marcus is going to be using a much more precise weapon. The laser rifle. No more burst in the party now. Coast is clear, let's move out. Let's do it, Stanwell. Let's continue. Coast is clear, let's move out. Okay, we we did, though. We did. Coast is clear. Coast is clear again. Very nice. <laughs> that nasty bunion on each foot seems to have turned into an extra toe. But at least that persistent burning itch has gone away. I finally developed an extra toe. Uh, so, if you end up walking through the green goo in the toxic caves way back when we started going through the toxic caves that reminded me of Reddit. Um, if your foot is exposed to the green goo, you will eventually develop an extra toe. Um, and I don't think it shows anywhere on your traits 
or perks or anything. But you can get it surgically removed. <laughs> Since we have access to the, um, the Vault City Vault, we can have it surgically removed, which is nice. Uh, I want to talk to this merchant. So I told everyone to put their weapon away again, just, just in case. Uh, I've heard good things about a person fitting your description. Guess it would be all right to trade some cargo with you. Here's what I've got. That's barter with, um... Outdoorsman manual. That's what I'm talking about. That's all you have. <laughs> have a shotgun. Have some ammo for it, too. Protect yourself. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? I've turned merchant. What what happens when I read books out here? Like, if I artificially extend <laughs> the caravan, I'm pr I probably shouldn't do that. That might mess things up. So, caravans just cross and pass on the trail. That is another... Merchant's Guard. I think this is a Vault City Guard. So they have the, the combat armor. Okay. So now we can talk to the Caravan Master, wherever they may be. Probably in this tent here. See, there's three tents for, th for three different caravan masters. Oh, he's not here. Where is he? Is he in the caravan office? Please pay me. Hello there, I'm James Haffey. What? Um, just looking around, Jimmy. All right. So we took the caravan, but we didn't really benefit from it besides, well... We got a laser rifle. That does count for something. That definitely counts for something. Maybe I'm just blind. Maybe I didn't see Stanwell. That's fine. I mean, we're doing well on money, too. We have 23,669. Nice. Uh, let's check with Painless Doc Johnson, see if he has any more meds for sale. Can always do for some more stim packs. Okay. He did. <laughs> so, for some reason. His inventory doesn't respawn, really, or something. I don't know. We can check this tent. I didn't check this tent to see if Stanwell's in here. Nope. That's not Stanwell. Dang it. Well, I guess we're hoofing it. Let's read some books first, though. See where our skills are at. Guns and Outdoorsman. Outdoorsman's 53, not bad. Small Guns is 41. Also not bad. So let's read this. I did I did a single transition, I bet. 61 Outdoorsman, 51 Small Guns. Even better. Even better than before! So now we've got to go all the way back to the NCR. On foot. <laughs> Look at how much slower we are now without the car, because the car is parked in the NCR. You don't take it with you on the caravan runs. It's like the only, only downside. You don't get the cool, like, highwayman music either. But, increased odds of us running into um, special encounters while we're here. Hello. Heard good things about a person in your description. Do you have anything useful? Those are the psycho. Psycho is not too common. I want to say it's not very common. Um, I guess I'll pay for it outright. It hurts me to do so, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I did it. <laughs> Maybe this person will still be out here, and there'll be something to loot in the cave. I doubt it. But let's check. Nope, nothing in the cave. Okay, bye. Stay safe. We're gonna keep going past New Reno this time. Oh! Uh, I want to fight some... There's Yakuza wandering around outside of New Reno as well. And you can get the Wakisaji Blade, I believe that's how it's pronounced. Some mobsters fighting some Yakuza! <laughs> Perfect! We can just watch. Uh, we're also standing in the way. So, let's move... Come on, team! Let's move this way. Don't stand in the line of fire, please. Who's fighting who? It's really hard to tell that they're all wearing... Almost all of them are wearing leather jackets. 
I'm so glad I'm not. That would get confusing. Okay, so we've already got one Wakasashi blade over here that we can pick up. Oh my goodness. Of course, the mobster's using a Tommy gun, as per the usual. But um, I thought it would have been kind of cool if if the the Yakuza or an offset of the Yakuza also were were in New Reno. I kind of wonder why they weren't. Or Yakuza inspired, I should say. I don't know. Maybe there's a reason. But these ones in particular, maybe maybe they were going partway into like making a, a melee focused faction. And then they were just like, this is not working. They're clearly getting mowed down by everybody who has firearms. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe they did exist in Fallout 2 and then they got mostly wiped out. Uh, kind of like the cons, but then didn't make a return. Could have been that too. But I wanted to get the Wakisashi Blade because Sulik needs a better weapon. Short, finely crafted knife. The tip seems to be designed to pierce armor. So I'm going to give that to Sulik and hope that he actually uses it. We'll see if he does. What you be needing? Combat control, my friend. Best weapon. Yeah, that's what's up. We've gone to into knife fighting until I can get you the super sledge. Let's continue on. Whoops, save first. Let's continue on. To the NCR. Still going past the lovely sights and drug-induced land known as New Reno. Great, more dogs. Suluk's gonna have more attacks, though. That's an upside. Uh, I kind of want to do standard punches? Because that's, that's enough to one-shot the dogs. And I, I don't want to give them too many turns. We'll do an aim shot for this one. See how I'm getting 95% chance for, for groin shots now? So satisfying. So good. Yeah. Oh, no! <laughs> I didn't know you could cut the dogs in half. I, oh, no, because I haven't... I I rarely give him a laser weapon. I go straight to the turbo plasma. Oh, my goodness. Let's let's see if we can get another another crit animation that's in better view. Everybody's kind of clustered up right now. Wow. Yeah, there it was. That's good. So I'm wondering... The main difference between the plasma and the, and the laser in this game is... Well, damage types, because there are they are separate damage types in the game, I suppose. But there's also the like range versus extra damage or something like that, or range versus crit. I don't remember what what the like specialty is between the two. Or range and accuracy or something like that. But of course, while I'm playing, it's hard to look things up because I'm playing the game. So I'm not going to do that. <laughs> and another encounter. I haven't gotten a special encounter yet. Scarred Traveler. We don't need to deal with the or a Traveler. They just give you directions. I think we know where things are for the most part at this point. I want to encounter another remnants of the master's army. Ideally, one that'll rocket at me or shoot a rocket at me instead of the rest of my team. So I don't know how well they can take explosions. Hey, you got some man tie. Punch that metathorax. Get it. That's right. Getting some getting some reminiscence of the uh, reminiscing on the Fallout 1 playthrough. Oh my goodness. Wow. I should have Marcus with the with the hang on to the laser rifle for now. For a while. Because those crit deaths are really cool and I I rarely see them because I move him directly to Turbo Plasma from the from the Bozar most of the time. So that's pretty awesome. 
and it looks cool. The amount of extra effort that went into all the animations for, for crit deaths, especially energy-based ones, is just, just outrageous. And should be appreciated where it can be. That's why I zoom in on them when I, when I do the, even though, you know, they are freaking awesome. That's one of the things that, that, you know, makes the more modern games awesome too, is the cinematic nature of eviscerating your foes. So I think it fits. I think it fits pretty well. Hey, we're back at the place that has my car. Whoops, I waited too long. Special thanks to my Wasteland Legends, Sven and David Hoover, and thanks to the rest of my patrons on screen now. You can catch future episodes of this playthrough on Wednesdays and Fridays, noon and 10 a.m. Pacific. Thanks for watching. I'm Kato Genesis, and may you wander the wasteland like you own it.